Black spot, black spot, black spot, black spot. And welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's original series, Black Spot Season 2. So Black Spot was actually a series that I wasn't aware of. It wasn't until Netflix pointed it out on my service going, hey, check this out. We think you would like this. And I thought, ooh, what's that? Let me check it out. And from the first few moments of the opening episode of season one, I was hooked and kind of blown away. But I'm going to let Forrest Rubin recap season one for you because actually I know that many people actually haven't heard of Black Spot. So I just wanted to give you a quick recap of what happened in season one, whether it was any good, whether you should check it out and then we'll come back to this Reuben because there are so many Reubens. Uh, yeah, thank you Reuben. Um, so Black Spot is a Netflix original series that aired in 2017. It's also known as Zone Blanche. I think that's the French title. It has eight episodes and when I first started watching the first episode I was blown away by how good it was. I wasn't expecting the cinematography, acting and scripting, everything to culminate to something that was so original and interesting. It reminded me of Stranger Things and Dark on Netflix as well. Comparing it to those is a disservice to it because actually it was quite unique and even from the opening shots of the first episode what you see that there's not there's something not quite normal about this this town. You can see how it is different to um, other series. The tone right from the beginning with the cinematography um, is brilliant. The unique characters, there's this eccentric uh, district attorney. There are a bunch of unique characters that work together. Everybody in this town knows everybody. Everybody seems, well, especially in the police force, seems to have multiple jobs. And then there um, are people that know each other's secrets, but everybody in the town also has multiple secrets. And as each episode goes on, there's eight of which are about 45 minutes long, but as each episode goes on, um, you find out that there's way more to this town and there's quite a, a, a supernatural element to it. I thought really enjoyed the first season. I wasn't expecting how season one was going to end. Um, I like that it kept me guessing. I really enjoyed this and I'm hoping that you will watch it as well. Go and watch the eight episodes. It's a fantastic story, quite unique. It does have familiar themes that we've seen in other, you know, cop dramas, supernatural dramas. Um, it reminds me, reminds me a little bit of Ozark, but actually for the most part, I think this is a really unique story. But back to you, Ruben. Thanks, Ruben. So season two, also has eight episodes at about 45 minutes apiece and I'm pleased to say that they haven't changed the techniques or the cinematography or the acting or the scripting. Everything is as strong as it was in season one if not better because they've had that season that first season to kind of establish the world of what's going on and in season two the major is back. I'm not going to give any give any spoilers as to how but she's back and she is more obsessed with the goings on and the law the Celtic law behind what is happening in in their forest. There is this little town in the middle of nowhere where everybody knows each other's secrets and people leave and come back and then they have secrets upon themselves and it seems like people know each other's secrets but they don't really know the people because they have more secrets and it's one of those towns and you mix in this supernatural cultic vibe and element of what is going on and you're never really sure what's going to happen and I have to say I love it. I haven't encountered a series where each shot looks fantastic between the cinematography and the lighting, and I know sometimes reviewers go on about it because of all the filming techniques, but this one particularly stood out. So between the cinematography and the lighting, I'd never encountered a series where I thought every shot looked great, every shot looked beautiful, every shot had a purpose. There are no shots in this series, even when it is slow and they're driving more character development rather than action sequences. There are no shots that I think that is a waste of time in this. Even the, poli the their police station, the, the lighting setups look fantastic. I've never seen a police station look great and I've never taken pause to go, wow, that looks amazing. You know, you get these amazing kind of cinematic shots of the, the vast open landscapes of the forest. And those are great and I would think somewhat easier to make look better. But when you take a, a, like housing developments that are broken down or a glee station that, you know, could easily just be your generic two shot camera setup and you could easily just not put so much time and effort into like every single shot. And I really appreciate the time they spend just on the cinematography and the lighting and then you have the vibe and the tone and the score which really helps carry and drive the the kind of mood that they're going for and then you add the celtic vibe and then you add the acting which is great i love all the characters as i said they're 
They are so unique and so different. Each character is really well developed and they're quite bizarre in some ways. Each character really has unique elements about them that you go, wow, I can tell the Major likes this and likes that and, and she has this going, she's struggling with those and I can tell Bear really, um, you know, he he's he's the man's man, he's a, super, he's a real hero but behind that he's quite emotional and he's gay. And so you have all these elements of these very well devised characters and then you add in the nastiness of the murder and this law and I really like what they've done with the episode so they break up the story and the law of the main arc by having individual episodic stories like you would have in a detective drama stuff goes wrong in one episode and then it's up to the cops to kind of deal with that and in amongst that you have this drive of the arc which is filtered through each of the episodes which is standard but the way in the skill they do it in I was really impressed with this whole series has me really impressed I'm trying to find um, something that I didn't like and I can't I can't put my foot on anything that I don't like I think the acting the scripting the editing the score the cinematography everything has been put together brilliantly I'm glad that I kind of that Netflix suggested this to me because it's one of the best things I've seen on TV for a long time I know people hold up Stranger Things like in high regard and Dark in high regard and I think they are both excellent in their own right but I think for me this series will stand up there um, it's eight episodes as I said but it's I think that's the right amount they haven't stretched it out they haven't tried to stretch any of the episodes out and make it be longer for more watch time or anything like that if they've kept to the story that they want to tell I'm not going to give any spoilers because this series has so many elements in it that if I were to mention certain things it would give away the kind of the main plot devices and I really don't want to do that I want you to enjoy it but I all I can say is that there are moments where your jaw goes what how is that and why is that happening the only thing negative negative I would say and there's not really even a negative they do keep back uh, part of the main arc because they're obviously trying to they're tantalizing you with the, the, the possibilities of what this Celtic stuff could be what could happen what it could mean what is it I do really like that though as well so I don't know that it's a negative there are bits where they do kind of flashbacks to um, uh, 47 BC and they show where this law what stuff happened before and kind of what's going on with it so they are filtering this main story arc but at the same time the, the the majority of the story is in modern times but at the same time you never really know qu quite what's going on and it keeps you on your edge and you're wondering oh who's going to die next who's going to live what does this mean i mean from the first season if you have any idea of the, the weird and wacky stuff that goes on you know i mentioned the wolf the babysitting kind of protecting that you know there's protectors of the wolf and it seems to like that the that th these guys that live in this town have a symbiotic relationship with the forest almost sort of thing if you look after the forest the forest will look after you and there's all this stuff going on but at the core center of it is this drama of these people who are involved with stuff that they probably shouldn't be and they're trying to look after they're trying to survive the town is going under so there's all the stuff going on in the background I think this is excellent I thoroughly enjoyed this if you want something that's kind of wacky and weird like dark and stranger things i think this is the one for you i'm gonna give black spot an a plus i don't think there's anything wrong with this i know a plus suggests that it's perfect and i would say that in media that there's always room for improvement but for me this is what an a plus should be what you should strive to be also mentioned that it is subtitled but right at the beginning within the first 20 minutes i forgot i was reading the subtitles and that just proves to you how immersive the story is i think it's fantastic i did check out the dubbing and it's okay it's not as bad as some are um, but I did go back to reading because I always like to get the language in its original content. The way the actors sound and speak, speak, I think that brings across what you're really trying to get, what they're trying to show you. You get the emotions and you know inflections of the tone of the voices. I think sometimes in dubbing you miss out on that. Other than that, I think it was great. The dubbing is okay. Let me know in the comments below whether you're excited to see season two, whether you'd even heard of this. I'm eagerly waiting to see what they would perhaps perhaps do maybe for a season three but I'm not going to give any spoilers on that notion thoroughly enjoyed these two seasons so far do chat to me in the comments below but most of all until next time remember live long and Tuesday live long and Tuesday live long and Tuesday I can't do that live long and Tuesday I can't do that live long and Tuesday still can't do that live long and Tuesday live long and Tuesday live long and Tuesday